Romans chapter 8 and verses 28. This is what the word of God says. We know that all things work together for good for those who love God, who are called according to his purpose. Good evening, everyone. My name is Jenny Simon, and I am Joel's friend, enemy, older sister, younger sister, someone whom we both argue constantly. And, to per and personally to Joel, I think if he was here, he would definitely describe me as one of the most annoying person that he has ever met. He's told me that every single day. I've known Joel over 10 years now, but it wasn't until, uh, but it wasn't until ministry, um, it wasn't until we ministered together with Anointing Fire Catholic Youth Ministry that we got really close. So I'm here tonight on behalf of all the ministers of Anointing Fire Catholic Youth Ministry since this ministry was a big part of his life. Over the past week, I've noticed that he's just gone viral on social media. We've all heard about his, we've all heard his talks, we've all heard how good of a person he was, how he was to everyone. We've, be, we've seen many videos, many articles written on him, and boy, knowing him, I tell you, he would not have enjoyed all of, it, all of this attention. But so I thought, in the midst of all of this, I could take this opportunity to share some of the secrets that he has shared with each of us, with all of you. Now, one of them was when people asked him, Joel, why are you like this? Why are you like this? Why are you so perfect? Why are you so good? Why are you so good at everything? And one day, I asked the same thing to him, and this is what he said. Jenny, I can't take any of the credit. All of the credit goes to my parents. Jijo and Kozailandi, Joel Jijo was so proud to call both of you his parents. He loved his parents so much because his parents gave him Jesus. Because his parents brought him up in faith. Because his parents gave the love of Christ to him. Now, we, we will all hear all the good things about Joel Jijo, but I wanna stand here and I wanna tell you something that Joel Jijo would have said if he was here. He would have said, to all the parents here, I am no one to instruct because I am not a parent, but this is something he would have said. And he has told us this many times. To all the parents, give Jesus to your children. G give the love of Christ to your children. From a very young age, the word of God tells us like this. In Ecclesiasticus chapter 2, at 12 verses 1, the word of God says like this. Remember your creator in the days of your youth before the days of trouble arises. Remember the creator in the days of your youth. Who can give this Jesus to, your, to these kids? Parents. Now don't think it is too late. Don't think it is too late to give Jesus. Don't think it is too late to pray for your children. If Joel Jija was here, I am telling you 100% he would agree with me because he has told me this. Jenny, if only parents took the effort to give Jesus to teach them about their, about their faith, to give word of God to them, we would have youth in the church. We would not have youth, we would, ha we would not have youngsters going after different things of the world. So to Jijo and Kodlailanti, Isho is so proud of you for raising such a beautiful, beautiful young son, beautiful man of God. The second thing that he has shared with me I think with most of us, especially with me, when I was flying with him to Nashville, Tennessee, I had my blanket, I had my pillow, and he was with me. I, I, both of us were traveling together. I told Joe, 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 I'm going to go to sleep. Don't disturb me, because I didn't, I didn't sleep the night before. So Joe, Joe said, okay, go ahead. Then I was, I was, I was getting ready to sleep and everything, and he, he, he poked me. He like thorned at me and said, hey, Jenny, and I said, what, Joe? 
And uh, he was like, I want to tell you something. I was like, what? I want to ask you something. What? He said, do you think I can be a saint? Do you think I can be a saint? And I looked at him. I kid you not, the name that I have saved on my phone for Joel Jiju, from the moment I have had my phone, I have named him Joel Jiju the saint. Because both him and I have this relationship. We call each other saints. We call, we tell each other, Jenny, you're a saint. I say, no, Joel, you're a saint. And so I named him as Joel Jiju the saint. And I looked at him and I said, no, you, no, no way. I'm going to be a saint. And then he said, no, but seriously, Jenny, I want to be a saint. Before I die, I want to be a saint. And I said, and I, heard, I realized he was, he was, you know, he was serious. And I said, and he said, no, Jenny, I'm in Nepal. I'm not like you. I'm not, you know, I don't, I'm not bold like you. I'm not courageous like you. I can't even bring, you know, Jesus to the close people that I have. But I want to be a saint. And to this Joel Jijo, I, 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 I just wish he was here and I could hug him and I could tell him the lives that he has touched, the amount of people that he has touched, the amount of lives that he has turned. Joel Jijo, we love you so much. For giving us, all of us, a minister, a friend, a brother. I'm telling you, like Anisha said, all of us. Joel Jiju was a best friend to everyone because he was like that. I would say he's my best friend. Abby would say it's her best friend. Austin would say he's his best friend. So I pray that we all go on our lives with the same calling. You know, leading this, our life, leading youngsters, leading people of this world in Jesus' light. And I make this prayer in the most powerful name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord.